Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how the Apple Mac App Store is rejecting Electron apps. All right, so a couple of years ago, I did a video called Why We Are No Longer Using the Ionic Framework. And at the time, I was very upset about the new Apple guidelines, them clamping down on 4.3, and also the new guideline of 4.2.6, where they talked about wizard-generated applications. And I was afraid that one day they might start rejecting applications with WebView in them. So that's why I was saying, as a company, we should stop using Ionic, right? Because what if if that should ever happen where Apple started rejecting applications which are based on WebView, then I would be screwed because I would have to go back to all of my clients and say, hey, you know how we recommend you do it this way because it would be cheaper? We're gonna have to redo the whole thing, right? Now, that video, I got so much abuse on that video. People kept saying, Eric, that will never happen. You're an idiot. I mean, like insulting things, right? And even the, the Ionic came to me and said, look, you're just spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And I thought, and ultimately, I, I removed the video. I thought, yeah, you know what? There's no evidence of this happening. It's just me thinking that maybe it might happen one day, right? It, it's just sort of one of those things that it would risk. And even I've softened on it. So we are doing some projects in Ionic now. And, you know, I think it's a great framework. In fact, back in that video, I said it's a great framework. I'm more concerned about Apple. Well, yesterday uh, on our Facebook group, uh, Entrepreneurial Devs at the Overpass, Matthew Harris posted this uh, post. Wow. To be honest, I actually thought Eric was worrying about something that would never happen, but here it is. And he posts this link to the register.co.uk, which says, Bad news developers, Apple Mac App Store tells cross-platform Electron apps to get lost. Now again, this has nothing to do with WebView, has nothing to do with Cordova or Ionic or anything like that. But basically, apparently the Mac App Store has started to reject apps that are built on Electron as desktop applications. So you can take like Node.js and all the cross-platform things and put it into Electron uh, and create like a desktop app, and which is what Slack is built on. I mean, it's really very, very cool, but for whatever reason, I think it has to do with the Chromium uh, using the core APIs or private APIs in Chromium that Apple started to reject it. Now they're putting fixes in there, so it's probably gonna be a temporary issue. I'm sure they'll, they'll go through, but it's one of those kind of things where it's scary because it, you think about when you're building something on a framework which is not native, you assume some risks. Now I and my developers, we use a lot of frameworks, right? I, I will only go native if we have to go native, right? Um, so we use, uh, we use Ionic, we use React Native, we use Flutter, we use um, uh, Unity, Corona SDK, um, lots of different things. We also do native applications as well, again, when we need to, right? But every time you do something on a framework where it's not the core native framework, then you accept a risk that maybe they might start to reject it at some point. I believe it's an acceptable risk because you're saving lots of money. You're able to produce to both app stores, right? You're able to do something. If you're going to do something where you have Android, iOS, and progressive web apps, and Ionic is the ideal choice, right? And they've never had any problem with rejections on that so far. But again, it's always a risk, right? Now I happen to think, uh, and again, it's just my opinion, right? They may never, that may never be an issue in the future, but it, as an app developer, if you're, especially if you're doing lots of applications, it's something just to keep in mind. Like if that happened, then what would you do? Again, if you do Bionic, progressive web apps, nice little transition, you could just bypass the app store altogether, right? I, I tend to, in my opinion, at both Apple and Google, I think they like all developer, all app developers equally, right? We love all of our app developers, but I do think native developers are their favorites, right? If you're just getting into software development and you're wondering whether or not you should go native or use a, a framework, I would say if you're doing it for yourself, use a framework because you could do it cheaper, faster. If you're trying to get a job, might be you know, going native might be a good idea, right? Because you're just doing one or the other. But that's just my opinion. Uh, anyway, I wanted to share this with you. It'll probably blow over here in the next few weeks. I really appreciate Matthew for posting that on the Facebook group, right? It's just, you know, these things happen. Apple's up and down. There's always something and, uh, you know, the app stores are always changing. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ex experienced a, if you guys do anything with Electron, because I've never done anything on Electron, have you guys experienced a rejection based on the platform that you're that you're on. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again 
next time.